Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So for today's review, I wanted to share a way to easily get uh, various statistics or device statistics or weather information or things like that on your home screen. Um, but rather than being a traditional widget, this is actually going to be using um, the way of a live wallpaper. So the app itself is called Custom Life Wallpaper, abbreviated KLWP. And this is kind of, a, well, basically, this is basically unofficially the successor or another or newer version of Zuper Widget. So uh, what we saw in Zuper Widget has, or a lot of the things we see in Zuper Widget are uh, here as well, but with additional features and preview options. And rather than being set up as a widget, it's set up as a live wallpaper. Um, so we'll jump right into it. Um, what you see right now with this weather forecast, um, so um, with the circle you see with our battery meter, the current weather options, date, and forecast are all part of this live wallpaper and the image itself is also a part of this live wallpaper. So I'll jump into that as well a little bit uh, in a little bit. So opening up the app, um, we get um, a layout that's similar to Zuper Widget, but is actually, in my opinion, a lot easier to use and better handles your screen positioning and size and all of that. So as you can see, the um, format is um, in the layout of a screen, so you can easily see your overall position. Uh, we have our various uh, layers, so you can see the progress bar, font, weather, text, and all of that. Um, and then morphing text as well, which is a kind of is basically another way of saying rich text so you got options there as well um, and then we have the background so you can um, differentiate between a solid color and an image for the solid color um, you can set a gradient as well so if you want for example a red but you want a kind of transparent red you can do that as well um, and then you can also set various layer options so what what happens when your device is locked not locked uh, what's available in landscape versus portrait uh, location options uh, overall um, uh, padding options as well uh, global shortcuts as well so if you want um, overall settings to be set you can do that as well so um, for, for example swap fonts on off switch switches and things like that and then also um, app shortcuts, so it, or sorry, wallpaper shortcuts. If you want um, other shortcuts for global just touching options, you can do that as well. So at the moment, I have no shortcuts set up, but I'll jump into one of the options that allows you to do that as well. So as you can see, I already have uh, various options. So for example, you get a progress bar, so you can set it what it does so if you want to create your own battery meter like I have here you can do that set it at battery um, you can do flat progress split progress which uh, sets it up as dots repeat shape so you get um, dots there um, you also get a rotation so if you want it to be offset a little bit you can do that and then you have various clock options as well um, you can also set up the style so if you want it linear versus uh, circular that's also an option and then set up your um, height and size. So if you want a thicker bar, you can do that. Um, and then if you want it to be a bigger or smaller circle, you can see that. And then you have the live preview as well. So you can exactly, you can, if it's overlapping other areas or other um, layers you have, then you'll see that right away. You can set up a color. So whether it's a solid color, gradient, multiple colors, things like that. Um, the, and then also you have your anchor, so where you want the position uh, formatting to be adjusted from. So um, what, if you want to offset from center, top, top left, bottom, things like that. Um, the coolest feature though is the animation function. So you can also, so when different act events happen on your phone, you can have different um, uh, um, other options happen as well. So for example, um, when you're, um, when you scroll, let's say you have a, a long list of layers and you it overshoots the length of your device, your screen, you can have a, a scroll option set. You can have it set based on your gyroscope, visibility, unlock loop, things like that. So I can actually show the unloop. Actually, I could probably I can show you the um, unlock option. So I have it set to when my device unlocks. Then um, in this case, it's fade out, but it's fading. To, I guess it's kind of fading in. Um, it's actually as fading out in that it's you're gonna see it on the screen, but and then fading in will fade it out when you unlock the device, and then um, how 
the that fade handles I just have it set to normal and then how long you want that fade to happen so I have it set to five um, you can or five seconds you can um, increase it so if you want it super slow or super fast you can do that as well so and then the beauty of it here is that you can hit the play button so you can see it actually um, happen in real time so if you if you want to see how it's gonna uh, visibly look you can do that as well so as you can see it faded out and then came back if you do the fade in um, you can hit the play and it fades it actually shows the same thing but uh, testing it out as well will do that as well um, and then if you want touch options you can do that as well so I'm not gonna set anything here but let's say on my oh and then before I get into that if you touch the bot let's say I did in this case I didn't need rename anything but I have them ordered in order of visibility for the most part but let's say you want to make sure you're selecting the right thing to edit you can touch the checkbox like that and it'll show you exactly which um, item you're editing so in this case um, let's say I want to edit the this particular forecast and I want to change a touch option so whenever I touch it um, on a single touch I can uh, if I wanted to do a custom action so um, let's say every time I touch the main weather, if I wanted to force a weather update, open a notification, toggle Wi-Fi, or anything like that, um, I can do that. So in this case, I'll do force weather update, um, so I don't have to set a separate um, little icon for it, and I have a nice nifty way of getting the latest for weather data. Um, and so when that's done, what you can do is hit the, there's a little save button here at the top that you can hit save, and that will save all changes. If you made something and want to undo it but forgot what you did, then you can um, exit all the way out and when you exit it'll ask you if you want to discard changes so I'll say in this case discard and it'll not save it and then when I go back in it'll be as if I made no changes um, in the overflow option the app is available for free but you're not allowed to import uh, predefined custom live wallpapers so when you go pro you can either purchase in-app or install a separate app and buy that way but um, Going Pro will allow you to install other you people's um, community-based custom live wallpapers. So if you just see a design online or in the Google Play Store that you like, then uh, getting installing the Pro version will allow you to use those other custom live wallpapers. Uh, going into settings is pretty uh, straightforward. You can set your clock mode, first day of the week, calendars to show, app language, preferred music player, what happens on tap. Um, you can set your weather provider. So there's four options here. Uh, me the weather uh, measurement units um, how often to refresh and all of that location accuracy so pretty straightforward um, options there you can set a light and dark UI so by default it's set to light but if you prefer the dark UI then that is also an option um, so one other feature that I don't have here so most of these are just text and shape based um, uh, layers but you can also set uh, what's you can basically also set a stackable group um, that allows you to arrange things horizontally or vertically so if you want to organize um, uh, various layers by group then you can do that as well so it's easier to manage your layers um, and then touching the box and hitting the delete allows you to delete in bulk if you want to get rid of stuff um, you can also set a series, so if you want a menu option on your home screen for, very, let's say, launching apps on your live wallpaper, then you can do that as well. So at the bottom, here's my new series. Um, I'll set the position to top left so it's out of the way a little bit. I'm going to um, move it away from my, um, my little my other setup here a little bit so it's... Um, easier to see I think that should be good enough based on my bar but let's set it to 150 just in case um, you can have uh, and then there's also uh, you can have a, a circular or linear style here as well um, so in the series there's um, actually that's actually totally not what I wanted um, that's actually kind of that's already something that I have I was actually looking for a menu, so um, maybe it is actually in here, and I totally missed it. But there's a you can uh, if you want to set uh, uh, cuss uh, there it is. So if you want a custom uh, layout, then you can do that here. So in this case, um, 
I, I set it to custom so for the formula I'm going to set it as a um, I'll, I'll basically just type in uh, text and I'll say let's say uh, podcast and uh, so you can basically set up your formulas or not that but music info so you get a bunch of different customizable options here so if you want um, data to be pulled from somewhere or you wanted to you create an overlay basically to uh, make a touchable action then um, some of the, some of some of the more advanced features will be say here so if you want a certain text to refresh an RSS feed or if you want a, a stock ticker and um, pull um, information from an RSS feed or HTTP site um, then that can all be set here um, so I'm still playing around with some of those advanced options, but if you've used Super Widget, a lot of those options are um, available. And then, for example, I set the, um, or I didn't save it, so I'll go back, I'll set it. So if I do, let's say, podcast, and when I um, uh, set the touch option, so I'll do add and single touch, I can do launch app. And then I can go into my apps. It'll pull the app in for any app that's installed. And I'll select uh, Pocket Cast. That's my podcast app. And when I go back, um, I want my series to... Or it's actually... It's that I mess it up a little somehow. But basically, you can set app shortcuts as well. So I can actually just go back. I'll delete that series. I'll go back, set up... Uh, um, I'll set up a text. I'm just checking to see, make sure there's nothing in here that I'm missing that I forgot about. Um, but basically, if you go into text and your text options, you can set exactly what you need to set. Um, so same thing. I'll go back here, podcast, um, touch, and go back and select your podcast app or... Um, whatever app and short shortcut that you want to um set so launch so and it also um handles activities so if there you know your specific apps activities so let's say amazon video there i don't know what a bunch of these mean so if there's something in here you want to use as a as a calling an activity or if you want to set up a, your own uh, music um controls then um, you can do that. Let's say you want to have just text on your screen so you don't have to go into the app, then you can um, set that up as well. So live wallpaper or custom live wallpaper is actually a very um, in-depth way of setting up your own custom live wallpapers and having um, a number of options available to you as well. Um, I didn't see as far as setting up custom icons if you want to use those, but there are base packs, so if you want to use the built-in weather icons, you can. Um, there's also uh, a custom icon that you can set, so if you wanted to say something specific or you want to set up your own, let's say, Windows Phone style tiles, and that is also an option there. So if I want my... Um, so if you want a calendar icon like they have set up here, um, or if you want to go in and let's say have a special tile just for um, or tile set or a more graphical tile set up for your um, cell phone signal so let's say um, my cell signal level I can do that so I know that that's my cell signal level so um, and foreground color so if you want um, transparency is in there so let's say I like that color but I want it a little bit lighter then you'll see that it's set up um, a lot or the configuration is actually very easy but so it can be as simple or basic as you want so um, as you can see my setup is actually very very straightforward it's just weather and a battery bar so it's um, if I'm driving I and it's on my mount I can easily see my battery level I get uh, quick um, access to uh, the weather forecast and all of that so if you have any other questions or anything like that or you want me to look into something further or try a particular setup or there's something from Zooper widget that you want me to try out and 
see if it's uh, it's available here, then you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find all reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01 where all prior reviews are available as well. And then, of course, you can find the podcast Life of an Accounting Droid at Patel N01 with all links, um, social media shortcuts, and all of that good stuff. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.